Hey guys, it's Paul with Toolmetrics. Uh, if you saw the last video I did on this laser engraver, uh, you saw that I was engraving all kinds of things, uh, all kinds of materials. Didn't have any success engraving on metal, however, uh, except for coated metal. That worked great, but non-coated metal wasn't able to get much of a, an impression on there at all. So I did a little research and found that there are commercial products out there that you can spray on the surface of your steel or aluminum uh, or copper or whatever and give you then the ability to uh, use your laser engraver to etch uh, into that material and give you a good impression on the metal. So uh, that, that those commercial products, uh, Ceramark was one and there was another one I can't remember the name of, uh, Theramark maybe, but anyway they're very expensive like $70 a can or whatever, way out of my league. So I was looking for you know, to see what other homebrew recipes might be out there. So I did a little bit more research, found a lot of different stories about different products that people had varying results with, and they're all in the dry lubricant family. So I brought in a few of these products, uh, six different products, gave them a try to find out which ones might produce a good image uh, on a stainless steel project that I'm working on. So um, I gave them uh, all a test, uh, burned in at varying uh, intensities of the laser. This is a 40 watt laser uh, and varying speeds of the um, laser arm and came up with what I feel was the best overall uh, capability. What I found was they all gave me the ability to do some etching. I was kind of surprised by that. I thought most of them wouldn't, but all of them did to some degree. The best one was this dry molly lube and that's the one that does include this, uh, this key ingredient, this molybdenum disulfide that people seem to think is the key ingredient for that. So people in general were right about that, um, although I did get some success with these other products. So the products that I, um, that I tried, uh, Glide Coat, uh, which is something that I use on my table saw and other power tools all the time, uh, works great for that. I had it in the shop, I thought I'd give it a whirl. It's not the cheapest, uh, of these, but it's, you know, it's probably, I don't know, 15 bucks a can or something like that. I wouldn't buy it for uh, this laser engraving purpose, but it's worth, if you have it in your shop for uh, your table saw or whatever, it might be worth giving it a shot. Um, but these, these other products were kind of in the $5 to $7 price range. Um, probably the, the runner up was this RZ50, uh, which was about seven bucks a can. Uh, but the winner was Dry Molly Lube. That was, I want to say it was around 10 or 11 bucks. I'll give you a link to this one. Uh, in the, uh, I, I was able to get it at Amazon. Everything else I was able to source at Menards um, or Fleet Farm. Uh, this one I had to go online and get it uh, at, um, on Amazon. But uh, anyway, I'll, sh I'll show you the results that I got. And you know, you can see that uh, the, <clears throat> the RZ, excuse me, the, um, the Molly really stood out. Um, it was so consistent at the higher intensities of laser, I couldn't really tell the difference between 50 millimeters a second at 95% all the way up to five millimeters a second at 98%. So I tried a, another round with Molly at different settings, 50 millimeters at 75%, 150 millimeters at 55%. It gave me a decent impression at all those, but I found it best in the higher intensity range, probably 30 to 40 millimeters per second and 85 to 95% gave me the best intensity overall, and really a good overall image. I ultimately used that to etch the Toolmetrics logo on stainless steel and was really pleased with the result. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the reflections, but hopefully you can kind of make that out. Very good, clear, uh, dark image and very durable. Uh, doesn't come off at all with scratching and I was scrubbing on it to remove the excess uh, molly lube as well. And it just, uh, it really came out really nice. So this is definitely the product that I'll be using uh, on the laser engraver if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to want to engrave on steel so hopefully this helps you out 10 bucks versus $70 uh, work great on my 40 watt laser if you have other ideas please let me know in the comments section if you've tried this let me know uh, and if you have other ideas feel free to share with the community thanks for watching I hope you uh, uh, find this helpful if you do please click like and please subscribe to the uh, Toolmetrics channel for more videos thanks